Hey guys, it's Sam, and this is my spoiler-free review of Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is an adult contemporary romance, and it follows the main character of Chloe, and she is putting together a list of things that she needs to do to get a life because she sort of had a moment of clarity when she almost gets hit by a car by a drunk driver while she's going for a daily walk and she decides that her life is too boring and she wants to be able to do something with her life and kind of at the end of her life have something that she lived for. Chloe is a disabled woman. She has fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue, and so that's chronic pain. And so she really has been living with like her family for most of her life and just hasn't taken a lot of risks because with risk comes pain for her. So one of the first things she ends up doing is moving out, and in that she comes into contact with her building superintendent named Red. Red is an artist. Red is very different from Chloe. Chloe comes from an upper class, more wealthy family. Red comes from a like lower middle class family, but he is an artist and he just kind of looks more rough around the edges, but is a rough around the edges, but very nice person. But they butt heads kind of immediately because their personalities they think clash and everything kind of goes from there. So this book, as soon as I started reading it, I loved the writing style. It's just a fun story that doesn't take itself too seriously, but also does deal with some more serious topics. So particularly with Red, he is actually recovering from an abusive relationship, which I found interesting because a lot of times we have abusive relationships depicted with the female characters recovering from that, and this is a male character recovering from that. And then we obviously have Chloe's fibromyalgia. So I found both of these situations to be very well and realistically depicted. One of my best friends, Sarah Jane of the Book Life, does have chronic fatigue and chronic pain and so I know a lot because we talk daily and daily things come up with her disability because that's how what it's like to live when you are disabled. So there are so many things within the story that I recognized from having a friend that is disabled. So the disability up there is great. This is own voices because Tali Hibbert does also have, I think, fibromyalgia or chronic pain of some kind. So this was just very real and you could tell that this was written by someone that knew what they were talking about with this and how this affects someone's daily life and how this affects someone's relationships even because of how people don't necessarily believe your disability and things like that. And that obviously affects romantic relationships. So I really enjoyed that. And like I said, the writing style was fun. The banter is immediately just so fun and just pulls you in right away. So as far as our characters, I really enjoyed both of them. I loved their dynamic. Like I said, I love the banter, but I also found them both to be very supportive of each other. They both have supportive systems around them, but they're both very supportive of each other and they're both growing and learning. And I really enjoyed seeing that in the story. Sometimes romances can be very codependent. And with this, you could tell these two characters were very into each other and growing to really care about each other but they also had things they wanted to work on both for themselves as individuals and knowing that they could exist as two separate individuals this is brought up within the story but also they wanted to get better for each other and for the relationship that they were building together they both have issues and past trauma that does affect their interactions currently but this book didn't get too bogged down in being like very heavy because these are very heavy topics but it balanced it really well with like some of the jokey things not in the way that it wasn't taking it seriously but that it didn't feel like so heavy and it always had like a glimmer of hope to it that yes these characters are dealing with very difficult things but there is this light at the end of the tunnel. So with that as far as the plot I found this very readable as most contemporary romances are but also what I really liked about the plot is that the characters talked, used their words in a way that lots of characters don't and the miscommunications and misunderstandings were dealt with fairly quickly and in a very healthy way. One thing that really annoys me about romances sometimes is that especially with contemporary romances one of the only barriers you can really throw up is miscommunication and you're just like so frustrated because you're like use your words and with this the miscommunications were understandable and the characters really did a good job of quickly squashing them instead of it being drawn out just for the sake of like angst or drawing out the story and being like will they won't they but you know they will because it's a romance so I really enjoyed how that was handled. The one thing about the writing that I personally didn't like had to do with some of the like sex scenes and things like that so one, the characters often would think about each other in a sexual way. This was done in a way that was better for me than in other books because I personally don't experience sexual attraction in that way where I'd be thinking of somebody in a sexual way all the time. So it kind of pulls me out of the story when romances do that. I get that a lot of people experience it that way, but I don't. So it just is very jarring for me personally. And that's a me thing. But this book did a good job of making it more like jokey and fun. So that wasn't as grating as it could have been. But the actual sex scenes I felt like were such a different writing style. And this happens a lot with romance books but we're so different than the rest of the book I found that the characters when they are like having sex scenes were especially red was like kind of different like their behavior didn't really match up necessarily with the rest of like the more like jokey cute light side of the story and they had like very smutty 
dirty talk, which some people that read smut might be like, Sam, that wasn't that bad. But for me, it, it was like, it was very smutty. And some of the words used for body parts just like make, grossed me out. So again, it's, it's very much a me thing. Like the sex scene problems were very much a me thing, but just, I did still find jarring the like change in writing style and the change in like kinds of behaviors the characters are doing. But the sex scenes were still good. I would say they were still like decently written sex scenes. I wasn't grossed out by them. It wasn't, it wasn't the worst stuff that I've read by any means, but it was still jarring from like a writing standpoint. So for that reason, I couldn't quite give it five stars, but this is one of my favorite romances that I've read. I do plan on reading more Talia Hibbert. I think she's great. I think she's funny. Her banter is top notch and I just really like the characters that she has. And I will continue to read this series because she's going to be writing series about uh, Chloe's sisters. She has two sisters, so I think they're gonna be following both of her sisters. And I just will read more Talia Hibbert because she's great. So I gave this 4.5 out of five stars. So comment down below and let me know what you thought of Get a Life Chloe Brown and if you have any other books that have a similar feeling to like this than Honeymooners Well Met, those are my kinds of like peak romances. I feel like they fall into that, that like you get that feeling, you get that vibe from those kinds of romances. So if you have any other books that are like that, recommend them to me down below. I already have a pretty good list but if I get more recommendations I can just like move those titles up the list. I just have a good time with these kinds of romances and we all need to have good happy times right now. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!